Was the encounter part of a senior salute at the elite St. Paul's prep school? Did male students compete to have sex with younger girls on campus? But yesterday, several of his classmates testified that he told them that he did have sex with the girl. But beyond the court, the case has been playing out ferociously on social media. Throughout the night at several different parties, Ohio teenagers tweeted and texted about the drunk girl. Then 16 went to a party in her hometown of Silsby in October. She reportedly was dragged into a room, thrown on the floor by several classmates, and then raped by the school's star football player. What's in here? Oh, nothing. It's the bedroom, I guess, but since they're renovating, there's nothing really in here right now. Oh, cool, I guess. Hey, come here. I'm in. No, I mean, come here. No, I... No. You're so pretty. This is an... No, I... Stop, please. I... I don't want... This is still happening. The medium is different. It's digital now, but it's still happening. The thing is, not only is it still happening, it's been happening for decades, as this play so poignantly points out. Rape culture and negative attitudes towards women are pervasive in our society. It's in how we address each other every day. Slut shaming is nothing new. It's been around since the 1950s and beyond. She's easy or she's a tease has simply been replaced by she's a slut or she's a whore. Retro Productions is very proud to be bringing you Good Boys and True, an intense drama that considers not just the who and the why of this particular story, but also ruminates on the generations of behavior that it led up to and allowed this to happen and continue to happen. Theater is expensive to produce, but can be incredibly useful in bringing dialogue of society's darkest issues to the forefront. This is what we hope to do with this production, and we could really use your help. So if you have a few dollars you can spare, we'd be most honored if you'd consider a donation. Check out our Indiegogo page, our perks, our website. And if you're in New York this December, come on down and see us. Let's talk about this. And let's ask each other, what are we going to do to change it?